the head of the table, the Tribal Chief. Protecting his Samoan family legacy on top of the food chain. A main eventer since day one, but now the Tribal Chief is tougher than ever. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds. The WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. The man who upholds the Anawai family legacy by any means necessary. Roman Reigns always in tremendous physical condition, probably the best shape of his career, but now more dangerous, more dominant, and more focused than ever. Will not relinquish his seat at the head of the table for anyone. Roman Reigns looking to continue expanding his empire. Ah, the beast is in the house! from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar! Well, I can assure you Roman Reigns is not frightened of Brock Lesnar, but the big dog had better be cautious. WrestleMania 31, it was Roman Reigns who became the foundation of Suplex City. No emotion, no remorse, just simply poised for absolute destruction. That is the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar to a T. Roman Reigns has a simple mission statement here in WWE. He just wants to wreck everyone and leave. And lately, that mission statement has been seeming more like a prophecy. Yeah, it's hard to argue with the results Reigns has gotten from that more aggressive approach. We'll see if it's more of the same here tonight. And taking all that into consideration, this is Brock Lesnar staring down. He's the measuring stick for this entire industry. And very, very few have ever measured up. Oh, that was just malicious. Oh, insulting. Oh, Brock put a stop to that. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Wow! Reigns gets out of harm's way. Oh, no! Someone called the orthodontist. Can you believe this? I love it. Ooh, well measured. Devastating kick. Oh. Climbing the turnbuckle now. He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Watch out, boom! In the past, Roman Reigns has had some success against the Beast by employing 
Superman punches and spears. Is that the way to go here, Corey? Sure, but don't forget, Lesnar has a way of turning things around, locking opponents up with the guillotine and getting them to tap out. Roman has got to be wary of that. I think both Lesnar and Reigns want to end this match as quickly as possible. Otherwise, the tolls on their bodies will just be too much. Punch! The big dog had that scouted. Into the corner. This can't be good. Lesnar on the wrong side of that exchange. Lesnar moved. Tossed around like a rag dog. No! no. Oh, that, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Flying. And Kravat sits in. This is not a familiar position for the Beast Incarnate. The Beast may tap out. Are you kidding me? Body breaks free, but will the damage prove to be irreparable? Oh, my. Down with authority. Reigns turns that around. The head of the table cinches it in. The guillotine cinched in. This one could be over. He's got it locked in. He may not have a choice. He may have to tap out. It is locked in way too tight. There is no escape. The guillotine locked in. This is all. No, that was an incredible counter. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Makes him pay with a counter. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Reigns is looking to beat respect into Lesnar. Uh-oh, forearm going to cut off the win. Guillotine applied. This is not a familiar position. Tap out! You can't help but be impressed by the big dog. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns! Roman did it! Roman did it! Tonight, the big dog broke the stranglehold of the beast.